when Ben Stiller expressed reservations that the movie would have been approved in today's woke environment. Elon Musk criticized the actor and even used one of his own insults from Tropic Thunder against the actor. The billionaire from Tesla, who was recently appointed as a co-head of Donald Trump's new Department of Government Efficiency Doge, attacked the 58-year-old comedian on his own ex-platform. Elon uploaded a snapshot of a news about Stiller from an ex-user with the heading. Ben Stiller says Woke America Killed Edgier Comedy and a picture of Simple Jack, one of Ben's Tropic Thunder characters that IT was captioned by the user, says this. Kamala was endorsed. Damn, he went full re asterisk 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 D. Two laughing rolling on the floor while sobbing emojis. Was Elon's description for the repost a reference to the 2008 movie? Stiller's Simple Jack was a mentally handicapped farm boy who was able to communicate with animals in the movie. Edgier humor is simply tougher to make now, according to Stiller, who directed and acted in the now-controversial comic-slash-action movie, in an interview with Collider. I doubt it, he said in response to a question about whether a movie like Tropic Thunder, which has since been classified as racially derogatory, could be produced in the current climate. Definitely, not at the scale we made it at, too. In terms of the business's economics, he continued that we were lucky to get it made even at the time, in my opinion, and I really give DreamWorks and Steven Spielberg credit for that. He said, okay, let's make this thing, after reading it. When you consider it, it's a pretty inward film. After that, Stiller brought up Robert Downey Jr.'s dicey performance in the film, which has drawn criticism for using blackface. Pigmentation modification is a hypothetical process that Downey Jr.'s character goes through in order to play a black soldier in a movie. It's really risky to have Robert portray that character who is portraying an African-American character, Stiller remarked. Naturally, it was risky even back then. We only tried it because I thought the joke was extremely obvious about who it was directed at. Actors who will stop at nothing to earn a prize that T.O. be honest with you, though, I'm not even sure whether I would have dared to do it in this setting. I'm telling the truth. After Tropic Thunder was criticized by the woke mob over Downey Jr.'s blackface, Stiller adamantly defended the popular movie last year, saying he's proud of it. Tropic Thunder also starred Tom Cruise, Jack Black, Brandon T. Jackson, and Matthew McConaughey. After his popular comedy was criticized by woke millennials for alleged racial overtones and derogatory portrayals of people with disabilities, he refused to apologize on its behalf. After its 2008 release, the Stiller-directed movie about a group of unfortunate actors who get lost while filming a war movie on location in the Vietnamese jungle and are left to fend for themselves became an international hit. However, Downey Jr.'s portrayal of Kirk Lazarus, an Australian method actor who surgically darkens his skin pigment to play an African-American soldier, has led to some recent criticism that it is racially offensive. In a post on X, previously Twitter, Stiller defended the movie and stated that he has never expressed regret for choosing to adapt the original screenplay that the actor and Justin Thoreau co-wrote. He made the statement in response to one of the many posts made in support of the movie. At Ben Stiller, stop apologizing for making this movie, please. It was hilarious, and it still is. Now, with the cancellation of culture as it is, it's even funny. It's a motion picture. You guys sick can just move on. When I first saw it back in the day, I was giggling uncontrollably and so did everyone else the post said. Stiller responded by tweeting, I apologize for Tropic Thunder. I'm not sure who said it to you. Since its debut, the film has been a contentious one. I'm proud of it and all the hard work that went into it. After U.S. snowboarder Sean White dressed as the movie's disabled character, Simple Jack, for Halloween in 2018, a second social media follower brought attention to an actor's historic tweet which was written in response to a humorous suggestion that Tropic Thunder should be banned. Actually, Tropic Thunder was boycotted 10 years ago when it came out, and I apologize then, Stiller wrote in a comment at the time. Its purpose has always been to ridicule performers who will stop at nothing to obtain accolades. I stand by Sean White, the film, my apology, and the wonderful people and efforts of the at Special Olympics. After the movie came out, over 20 disability advocacy organizations, including the Special Olympics, banded together to criticize its excessive usage of the term retard. Despite the self-awareness of Stiller's script and his choice to obtain NAACP, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, approval prior to its release, Downey Jr. has recently been singled out by woke millennials for his role as a white actor playing a black character. 
speaking about the movie in 2020, Downey Jr. acknowledged that he had his own misgivings about accepting the part, which eventually earned him an Oscar nomination in 2009, but that he later changed his mind. Yeah, I'll do that, I thought. He told the Joe Rogan experience, I'll do that after Iron Man. At that point, I began to think, this is a terrible idea. Hold on, dude. I thought to myself, be honest. Where is your heart? There is something in it for me since, in my opinion, I get to be black for a summer. Additionally, I get to expose the self-centered, ridiculous hypocrisy of artists and what they believe they are permitted to do on occasion. 